Good afternoon, Wikimania. This session continues with, uh, um, with presentations in the Wiki Mapathon series. From today, we have had a full day of activities. First, on the stage, will be Dennis Raylin Chen and Eugene Alvin Villar. They are going to talk to uh, talk about learning about the open data project OpenStreetMap, how it relates to various Wikimedia projects, how to contribute to it, how to link it with Wikidata. Wiki, yes, Wikidata. Dennis uh, is a Taiwanese OpenStreetMap mapper and Wikidata contributor of uh, user Superplex, one of the hosts of OpenStreetMap X Wikidata monthly meetup in Taipei. Recently speaking, in Taiwanese Hokkien at conferences. Also the board of directors of Wikimedia Taiwan. Eugene Alvin Villa from Wikimaps user group uh, has been contributing to Wikimedia since 2002 and to OpenStreetMap since 2007. He is an advocate for open knowledge and open data projects and wants to seek further collaboration between the Wikimedia and OpenStreetMap projects. Eugene is also a member of the Wikimax user group and has served on the board of OpenStreetMap Foundation from 2020 to 2022. Please, the stage is yours. Okay. Hello, everybody. Do you have your lunch already? <laughs> Me, Dennis, and Eugene will talk about these sections. OpenStreetMap and Wikimedia, all awesome together. Okay. Does anyone have no idea what is OpenStreetMap? Can you raise your hand? Oh, <laughs> there's one person who has no idea what it is. OK, I think he's joking about it. So I'll just keep going on. OK. Um, the first time I have, uh, have, a, have been to a Wikimania, uh, have an OpenStreetMap-related object subject is in 2012 the Wikimania in, in Washington, D.C. that the person has shared about OpenStreetMap. They also have an OpenStreetMap uh, mapping party that time. OK. And personally, I'm very involved in both OpenStreetMap and Wiki data. I have a mapping so many map features, like highways, waterways, and cross link. If they have Wiki data, I will link those Wikidata uh, QID added on OpenStreetMap. OK. We usually will describe OpenStreetMap as the largest crowdsourced project to map the whole world. And the, on this slide, you can see the whole city of a, a part of the city of Singapore that include, uh, the, yeah, include the islands and also Singapore city center. And I think the air, airport is not in this screenshot. So it's a partial of the Singapore uh, area. And, but personally, I will describe OpenStreetMap as a geographical database that not only a map tile, not only an online map like Google, but also is a geo database. That is the has the possibility to link to other database, third-party database. For example, the main topic today, Wikidata, can also Wikipedia, or also other like the geo names. We can input the geo names ID on OpenStreetMap. Okay, this is other map title that prove that OpenStreetMap not only is a web map but also a geo database that can render what you need. This is a high, uh, the cycling uh, map that's more focused on the outside activities, like bike route, or uh, sto uh, bike stop, or bike rental uh, station, this kind of stuff. And also, we, the, the parks and green area are highlighted on this map. Okay. For Wikipedia guys, you might describe OpenStreetMap as OpenStreetMap is like Wikipedia for maps. But there are some slightly different parts. Like OpenStreetMap won't allow anonymous editing. 
by Wikipedia, Wikidata, it is possible to find anonymous editing. You don't need to register for an account to edit on Wikimedia projects. The more accurate way of introducing OpenSAN is OpenStreetMap is like Wikidata for geographical data. We already mentioned that OpenStreetMap is a geo database. And Wikidata, of course, I think you have all had the idea of what Wikidata is. It is a database that is a machine readable database. What else? Sorry. OK, this one is another map title. It's more focused on the public transportations. The red line on the map is the bus stop, bus shop, uh, no, no, bus route in the Singapore central area. And uh, uh, the black line represents subway or train lines. OK, here we go to the history part. That when did OpenStreetMap establish? It is established in 2004, that is uh, in the United Kingdom. There's a bunch of guys uh, riding bicycle to uh, recording those bike routes or bike tracks uh, uh, or highways around the Cambridge or in London. Now it is oversee, just like Wikimedia Foundation oversee various Wikimedia projects. Operation Map is overseen by Operation Map Foundation, and this foundation is registered in England and Wales. Okay, here we go into the, might be quite uh, hard to imagine data structure of OpenStreetMap. Okay, uh, let's go inside the how do we produce uh, data. OSN, Wikidata have quite a lot of comments, both community driven, both being crowd sources, and of course it is all uh, powered by open source uh, software. And itself, both these projects are open data projects. Well, we might be, I think everyone in this hall is familiar with data, Wikidata. Wikidata has, Wikidata items have, has items, statements, properties, values, qualifiers, reference, label, and description. And the label and description part can be in Chinese or English or other language exists on the, in the world. And OpenStreetMap also has this kind of uh, data structure. It is called, uh, they have node, ways, relation. Relation is quite complicated uh, concept that you just remember that they have members and each member has rules. And on the nodes, ways, relation, they have the key value tags for this object to represent the, what they present in the real world. For example, if you want to um, map park, we will use the key value lesser equals park. Here is the data model that node contains the geographic uh, location. Ways are a bunch of uh, nodes that it might be closed ways, represent a polygram, or open ways that might represent rivers, highways, yeah. Okay, here's the OpenStreetMap Wikidata comparison. I use an example of SunTech Singapore. That is, where are we right now? That for uh, representations about Wikidata use statement. So, for SunTech Singapore on Wikidata, we will have a statement, official website, or date, or op official opening, and also the coordinate location that can be uh, added on Wikidata. For OpenStreetMap, we not only can add it, those official website, data opening, or coordinate location, of course, we also can add the address, uh, SunTech Singapore. And, but OpenStreetMap has an advantage that is OSN key value pair is not that strictly controlled compared to Wikidata. User can, own, can invent and add any tags they like. There is a tagging proposal, however, is quite similar like Wikidata. Okay, here we go is the community process. 
it might be pop quite political actually, both on Wikidata and OpenStreetMap. On Wikidata, we have the project chat that we discuss if we need a new properties. On OpenStreetMap, we use the tagging uh, mailing list to discuss what this kind of, uh, what type of this uh, stuff should be tagged on OpenStreetMap. Okay, here we go is the linking OSM for we did that part. That is, we can add an OSM uh, relation ID, way ID, or no ID on the Wikidata items. This is the, the size we'll show you. P4402 uh, is also relation ID, way ID P10689. And the node ID is P11693. And if you, if you look into any uh, items on Wikidata that contain geographical futures, it's a usually you can add not only geo coordinates, but also region ID, where ID, or node ID. OK, and also that uh, we can, uh, as an ontological uh, way of thinking, we can also have with their items properties for geographical future can link to equivalent OSM classes using the OSM tag or key P1282 properties. That is, for example, we have an item that is called, uh, uh, we did as lighthouses. We can add its corresponding OSM tag or key tag colon man-made equal lighthouses to represent uh, the equality uh, stuff on the OSM tagging system. And for other property, it's quite interesting, it's also OSM numeric user ID that we can link Wikipedia people to their OSM corresponding ID. Yeah. And also we have a OSM name suggestion index to linking those brand changes um, using part Wikidata uh, QID uh, on the Wikidata to tagging using OSN secondary tag to add it on OpenStreetMap. It will be very convenient if you add the name suggestion index on OpenStreetMap, then you can simply query using overpass query this kind of uh, stuff to, to do over, yeah. And we also could add Wikimedia tags on OpenStreetMap objects. For example, the downtown core of Singapore, we can add the corresponding Wikipedia articles. It's in English, downtown core to the English Wikipedia articles, and QID on the OpenStreetMap corresponding items. And here we go at the secondary uh, tag. Uh, powered by Wikidata, and it is uh, discussed for use on OpenStreetMap that we can add it, this kind of stuff. Brand column Wikidata is uh, part of the name suggestion index. Architecture column Wikidata is very convenient to know who built, who designed this building. And the artist, you can, you, column Wikidata, you can uh, state which artist that had uh, that have made this artwork, public artwork. And name, colon, entomology, colon, Wikidata, that you can uh, make a statement that what is the name orange of this street or other stuff. Right now, in, before uh, I think uh, we checked it uh, several days ago, there are almost three million objects in OSM with Wikidata tags. And almost two million uh, objects on the map have the secondary OSM tag, brand, colon, Wikidata tags. And over one million uh, name, colon, entomology, colon, Wikidata on the objects on OpenStreetMap in the yeah, OpenStreetMap database. Okay, then Eugene. Yep. Sure. Thanks, Dennis. So basically, um, Dennis gave you an introduction of what Op OpenStreetMap is and how we can connect these two open data projects together. So you can link between OSM to Wikidata and vice versa from Wikidata to OpenStreetMap. So 
what I'll be doing now or demonstrating now are some of the things that um, where pro the Wikimedia and OpenStreetMap projects are sharing data with each other. So for example, we make extensive use of OpenStreetMap here in Wikimedia. So here's an example. If you go to, many, uh, to a typical Wikivoyage page on uh, Wikivoyage, usually there's an interactive map that you can um, use to pan around and look at the various points of interest. So for example, here, we have the Wiki Voyage page for Manir Mar Marina Bay, and that top square is an interactive map, and it actually shows a map that is based on OpenStreetMap. So um, if you edit things in OpenStreetMap, that eventually gets reflected on that interactive map that you can see in Wiki Voyage. This, is uh, this um, square is powered by the Cartoterian Map Tile Service, and it is used by the cartographer Media Week extension, which provides the interactive maps that you see in the Wikimedia projects. There's also the, uh, another aspect is if we link um, OpenStreetMap objects together with their Wikidata items, you can display the geometry as seen in OpenStreetMap directly in Wikidata uh, or Wikimedia projects. So for example, the Wikimedia Commons category for the downtown core area of Singapore. There's an interactive map there, and that geometry there, that shape, comes straight directly from OpenStreetMap because we've already linked the OpenStreetMap object to, the, to its corresponding Wikidata item. In 2018, uh, the foundation released localized map tiles for Cartotarian. And what they do is they leverage OpenStreetMap's name tags. So here's an example of the Japanese um, layer for the map tile service. So it shows all Japanese labels. And that's because we've already linked um, like countries and cities in OpenStreetMap with their corresponding Wikidata items. And because those Wikidata items already have Japanese labels, we can show those labels straight on the uh, map, as you can see here, although some um, labels, for example, Monaco, uh, don't have Japanese labels yet as of this time. But yeah, if, you, if they're missing Japanese labels, you can add them in Wikidata, and they will be reflected uh, eventually. How about on the other side? Um, we actually uh, use a lot of Wikimedia and Wikidata stuff in OpenStreetMap as well. So to give an example, um, brands. So Dennis mentioned earlier the name suggestion index. So the idea here is that we want to be consistent with how we tag um, things like branches of um, shops and stores in OpenStreetMap. So what we do is if we want, for example, to tag a fast food restaurant with, of a particular brand in OpenStreetMap, um, we use the service called Name Suggestion Index, which is powered by Wikidata in order to provide consistent um, tagging for stores, for example, here's an example for McDonald's. So if we select McDonald's in OpenStreetMap, they're automatically tagged with the Wikidata item that corresponds to McDonald's. There's also federation. Um, Softbox is a Sparkle endpoint for OpenStreetMap data, and you can use this and federate it with the Wikidata query service in order to query both OpenStreetMap and Wikidata items at the same time. And um, unfortunately, we won't be able to demonstrate it, but uh, if you're familiar with how to do federated queries using Sparkle, you can query both OpenStreetMap and Wikidata at the same time. There's also geocoding. Um, in 2019, the OpenStreetMap Foundation had a G Google Summer of Code project to use Wikidata tags in Nominatem. So Nominatem is a software used in OpenStreetMap to do geocoding that is, if you provide an address, it returns uh, coordinates corresponding to that address. And what we do is, if OpenStreetMap objects are tagged with their Wikidata items, they, uh, that information or data is used to provide more accurate um, results when querying um, stuff in Nominatem. There's also localization. Um, so Mapbox, MapTiler, and other companies that use OpenStreetMap 
use Wikidata to provide localized map products. So for example, if um, OpenStreetMap do not have um, localized names stored in OpenStreetMap, they can query linked Wikidata items to provide even more labels for places. So this is an example of a map tiler layer showing both Russian and English names in the New York area. Also, um, the OpenStreetMap project has its own wiki using the uh, MediaWiki software. And we've also installed the Wikibase uh, extension in our, uh, the OpenStreetMap wiki. And we use this in order to provide machine readable uh, data for better reading of op OpenStreetMap tags. OK, so those are some examples of how we're using OpenStreetMap in Wikidata and vice versa. And here are some examples of projects and initiatives that um, communities and um, affiliates are using to link OpenStreetMap and Wikidata, Wikidata together. So my colleague, Dennis, from Taiwan, um, they host monthly meetups for Wikidata and OpenStreetMap. And one of their ongoing projects is to map and link data on villages and rivers, among other things. I think you're also doing cemeteries, right? Yeah. And this is an example of their um, tool trying to um, keep track of which um, villages in Taiwan have already been um, mapped and linked between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. Our colleagues in India, uh, specifically the Wikimedians of Kerala user group, together with OpenStreetMap Kerala, collaborate with each other to, again, um, similar with Taiwan, they try to map um, various places and link them together with, uh, between Wikidata and OpenStreetMap. So they're doing um, administrative areas, rivers, train stations, and similar um, places. Of course, we do not just want to link data uh, between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata per se. Uh, that's not an end um, in itself. We want to do things, interesting things. So Open Knowledge Belgium did this um, Open uh, Equal Street Names project. And what they did was, after mapping all of the streets in Brussels, they tried to tag the source of the names of those uh, streets to the persons that uh, in Wikidata. So for example, if you have, uh, like, for example, Rue, um, Adelaide, and something like that, you can connect that with um, using the name etymology Wikidata tag to the corresponding person after whom that street is named. And what they found out was that um, over 90% of streets in Brussels were named after men, as opposed to just 107% uh, after female. And they, they're able to do that because of the link between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata and the gender property of the humans stored in Wikidata. There's actually um, lots of projects similar to OpenStreet, uh, Equal Street Names. There's already over 60 city, cities all over the world that have ad adopted or adapted this project uh, worldwide. So Daniel Santini um, created the open etymology map using his uh, open street map Wikidata framework. And what this shows is it shows you on an interactive map, when you click on objects in open street map, you get the Wikidata item um, based on the person um, who that object or place is not, uh, named after. So for example, the Kavana Bridge here in Singapore was actually named after William or for Kavanaugh, which is the last India appointed governor of uh, the Straits Settlement. So there. So you can actually use Daniel's um, framework to do similar projects like this one. There's also the open airport map. So what this does is, um, since airports, uh, most airports are already linked to their corresponding Wikidata items between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. So if you go to open airport map, you can just Google this. You can search for an airport, and you can see an interactive map showing the details of the airport as mapped in OpenStreetMap. 
and then on a the sidebar, you can uh, see data pulled directly as from Wikidata. So for example, you can see here the um, banner for Wiki Voyage, the logo, and a graph showing the passenger counts or passenger, um, yeah, passenger counts for uh, Amsterdam Airport Schiphol. <laughs> so, okay. Not everything is um, fine and dandy between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. We have a lot of different issues. First of these is copyright. So one thing is that Wiki, in Wikidata, we can't import coordinates from OpenStreetMap. The reason for that is since you know that Wikidata is licensed CC0, the problem is OpenStreetMap is licensed under the Open Database license. And that means that you cannot just copy stuff from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata. So the problem there is that since um, OpenStreetMap was um, started in the United Kingdom, they have this concept of what we call database rights, which is not present in um, the United States where Wikidata is um, hosted. And this conflicts actually with the facts are not copyrightable doctrine in the United States. Um, vice, uh, vice versa, OpenStreetMap will not import geodata from Wikidata despite the CC0 license. The reason for that is um, in Wikidata and in Wikipedia in general, you're allowed to go to Google Maps and get coordinates there and use those coordinates to um, populate the coordinates templates in Wikidata or Wikipedia. But the problem is with OpenStreetMap, we strictly forbid people to consult Google Maps because it is a proprietary project. So it is an established principle in OpenStreetMap what, that we do not import geodata from Wikipedia and also Wikidata. Another thing, um, paid mapping. Paid editing in Wikimedia is frowned upon, but paid mapping is quite, quite common in OpenStreetMap. So there's actually nearly one in six edits in 2019 were done by um, companies that are uh, contributing to OpenStreetMap. Um, in the upper right part, you can see the various companies that contribute to OpenStreetMap. You can see familiar names there, Apple, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft. They all contribute to OpenStreetMap. And actually, if you go through their mapping services, for example, uh, there's also Grab here. So if you, go, if, you're, if you have already used Grab here in Singapore, go to their settings page or about page. Somewhere there, you can see OpenStreetMap. And the bottom graph here shows the size of the mapping teams employed by these companies to, to edit in OpenStreetMap. The, actually, as of 2021, the largest mapping team is actually from Apple. So if you use Apple Maps, um, chances are you're actually use, uh, looking at data that was sourced from OpenStreetMap. Okay, finances. <laughs> As of June 2022, the, the Wikimedia Foundation has net, net assets of 250 million and expenses of $146 million. However, the OpenStreetMap Foundation only uses a very, very small fraction of that. So as of 2023, it only has an approved budget of less than 1 million euros. Uh, and because of that, uh, there's a big discrepancy between um, how people between both communities um, look at how we fund projects um, with each other. There's actually a very um, vocal um, section in the OpenStreetMap community that do not want OpenStreetMap to become as big as the Wikimedia Foundation. So there's that. So my last part of the presentation is the OSM Wikidata Linking Tool. So this is a tool that was developed by Edward Betts in order to add Wikidata tags to OpenStreetMap objects, uh, OpenStreetMap objects. So you can go to osm.wikidata.link and um, I'll just, I won't really demonstrate how to use it. Um, I'll, we can talk about this later after the presentation. But the idea is that 
um, after you log in to the tool using your OpenStreetMap account, you can select a place of interest, let the tool run. Basically, it uses its algorithms to match, do, ma do some matching between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. And then after that, you're presented with a list of OpenStreetMap objects. And then you just check or uncheck these OpenStreetMap objects. And after you click Save, they will have their Wikidata tags added to, to OpenStreetMap. So here's an example. Um, so if you go to the website, you can search for a place. I would suggest something smaller, um, not like uh, a country. <laughs> so uh, smaller is better so that you can um, 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 show much, more, uh, much fewer um, matches. And after that, um, after you search for a place and select it, it will do its matching. And here's a log of try it trying to match objects in OpenStreetMap with Wikidata items. Actually, when I did this, um, it took so long, so I went with a smaller uh, place, downtown core. So for the downtown core, the tool was able to look, um, find 40 candidates um, that are po possible matches between OpenStreetMap and Wikidata. So what I can do here is I can filter them and do various settings so that I can um, filter and do um, what I want to match. So here's an example match. So the Bayfront Bridge um, between uh, Marina Bay Sands and the uh, Singapore Flyer, um, that's, that currently didn't have um, a Wikidata tag. And what I did here was uh, I clicked the checkbox on the top left because I was able to confirm or, or verify that this matches the corresponding Wikidata item, um, Q177, blah, blah, blah. So after doing that, and I can select in uh, other um, objects as well. I just click on Save, um, and then I can, I have a confirmation page here, making, just double checking to uh, ensure that I want to add these Wikidata tags to the correct items in, uh, or objects in OpenStreetMap. And after that, um, I have a change comment here, similar to the comment um, when you're saving in uh, Wikipedia or Wikidata. But after clicking Save, there. So when I go, when I go back to OpenStreetMap, the Wikidata tag is now added to the bridge as map in OpenStreetMap. So there we have Wikidata, Q177, blah, blah, blah. So mappers are already using this tool. Um, so there's um, uploads done by 444 mappers. And together, they've contributed 25,000 change sets. So change sets are basically like um, edits um, done in OpenStreetMap. And of those, uh, in those change sets, we were able to add 727,000 Wikidata links um, using this tool. And that's basically 26% um, uh, of all Wikidata tags that are currently visible in OpenStreetMap. So the way that the tool is able to do its matching is it looks at the entity type. So for example, um, with the example uh, before the bridge, we have the OpenStreetMap tag manmade is, is, is equal to bridge. And in the Wikidata item, it has to be an instance or a subclass of a bridge. And then we also look at coordinates. They have to be close to each other. And the name or the street address or uh, its identifier also has to match between Wikidata and OpenStreetMap in order to, for it to find candidate matches. So for those identifiers, um, Edward, uses these 16 identifiers as potential um, sources for matches. So for example, we have railway station code, IATA, ICAO airport codes, and World Heritage Site ID, website, etc. And currently, Edward is developing a second version of the tool that hopefully loads uh, 
a lot faster because it doesn't have to do its matching process um, um, in a batch. But it may be a bit harder to use. As you can see, the map looks quite busy. <laughs> you have to be uh, able to interpret the different colors here. But the idea is that if you're familiar with the version one, um, using the version two should be um, much faster to use, especially if you're familiar with OpenStreetMap already. So you can use version two by using, going to map.osm.wikidata.link. Okay, demo. Um, we don't have the time right now to do an actual demo, but if you're um, present, uh, here um, later this afternoon, after the afternoon break, we'll, we'll, we can show you or demo to you or teach you how to use this tool. Um, you, uh, version one at the expo space area or maybe at the concourse area. Um, we'll just provide announcements starting at 3.30 later this afternoon. So there, thank you very much. Um, are there any questions? Do any one have uh, on-site have questions or online have any questions yet? I forgot to make, okay, first. Yeah, thank you for the presentation. My question is, uh, yeah, you mentioned uh, about importing data from uh, Wikidata into OpenStreetMap. Uh, but you specifically mentioned that like, the problem is with geolocations. Uh, but what about labels? Because you find uh, labels in uh, OpenStreetMap which are not translated into other languages, and those labels are available in uh, Wikidata. Can those be imported into uh, OpenStreetMap and uh, the vice versa? Okay. So Geoffrey's question was, since we already have these um, labels in Wikidata, can we add those labels to OpenStreetMap? So the answer to that is complicated because in OpenStreetMap, we have this concept of what we call on the ground principle. That means that we don't just add data just because you can um, translate names or labels. So for example, um, um, a rural village in Poland typically won't have a Chinese name. So unless you're able to find an actual map showing Chinese names of that rural village in Poland, you just cannot add that Chinese name in OpenStreetMap because of the on-the-ground on principle. People just don't speak Chinese in rural Poland. So it's frowned upon to just add Chinese names in OpenStreetMap for every place in, uh, um, in OpenStreetMap. But major cities, countries, continents, islands, things like that, they generally have Chinese names and that's okay. I have some supplementary questions that uh, in Singapore, that they use simplified Chinese. So if you're importing Chinese name in Singapore, then you should type in the simplified version of Chinese. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Um, the question is similar to the previous one. So uh, regarding the labels, my question is uh, if it's uh, acceptable to do the opposite, so importing labels from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata, and what happens if those uh, conflict? And my second question uh, is, I, know, I understand that the coordinates, importing coordinates to OpenStreetMap is not uh, acceptable, but what about the geo shapes? So I know that in comments right now you can upload uh, geo shapes. So how do we, um, how do, how should the community uh, handle the duplication of the, you know, the, the shapes that are in OpenStreetMap versus in comments? so that we can work better together and not replicate the, the work in two places. Okay, um, so for your first question, um, so it's generally frowned upon to import names from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata because we require things in Wikidata to be public domain or CC0. And the problem is that um, unless you have a source, uh, a compatible source for your names, 
um, you just you just cannot copy directly from OpenStreetMap to Wikidata um, because of the open data open database license uh, of OpenStreetMap. As for your second part, of, uh, as for your second question regarding the geodata or map data um, in commons, we can actually import um, data from OpenStreetMap to commons. You just select the op open database license as the license of that data when you upload that to commons. Thank you. Yeah. I'm afraid this is all the time we have for Q&A, <laughs> but uh, Eugene and Dennis will be happy to yeah, answer we'll your questions after the session. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thank you.